on lower grade 11. Now we're going to do the last question of the November 2019 paper, which is as follows. We have a text file called sales.txt. This is an example of the text file. It has a customer name, an item, the quantity sold, and the unit price. So 2 Rand, 20 Rand, 5 Rand, 20 Rand, 3 Rand, that last digit is the unit price of the item sold. Right. Choose an item from a combo box named CMB item. Then we're going to test if the... Excuse me, I've got to go and in, open Delphi. We can extract the item name from the combo box, read a line from the text file, and test if the item name is a part of the um, yeah is part of that text file contents. So let's go and open our program. Remember how you do it? You always open your um, sorry. You open your .dpr file. Okay, so the combo box is there. CMB item, let's go and get it from the combo box. So I'll we'll call it VAR S item colon string. And I'm going to say S item equals CMB item dot text. Right, next thing that we have to do, we'll go on, let's make sure we have enough space to view everything. So, test if the text file sales.txt exists. Alright, that's easy. Is the small letter S? Yes. If not, file exists. Open bracket sales inverted commas dot txt. Then, begin and end and show a message and exit. Show a message. No file and exit done and then we assign file uh, we better get a text file variable quickly uh, file text file variable and s line string when you read from the text file read it into s line assign file my file to this sales.txt and then reset all of these are marks my file and then while not end of file my file do and then begin and end and then read ln my file into S line. All of those things you know. Right, marks for every single one of those lines. Okay, now we want to see if the item chosen from the comma box is part of exists in the line from the text file. So let's say if pause of S item that comes from the comma box, oops, I'm in capitals, S item is if the pause is not equal to naught oops sorry if it's not equal to naught then in other words the item name is in that text file line then we're going to get the customer's name and the item name from S line. Remember the customs name is the first one, then the semicolon, the item name is there. Well, okay, fine. Well, we're going to get it again, but we'll just do that. <laughs> the same must. So let's go and make a, a, a couple of strings here S cus and S name. I'm just going to make these two string variables for good. Because you remember the combo box 
is going to have something in there. Now, extract the customer's name and the item name from that line and the quantity sold and the unit price from the text file line. So we're going to get our quantity sold and our unit price. And remember, they're going to be integers. There's no decimal points there, so we don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to make some more variables. Our quantity, our, pr our unit, integer. So we're going to have a whole lot of copying and deleting, copying to the pause of the space. So we're going to say s name equals copy from s line. Remember, we're going to copy that first name to the pause of the semicolon minus one, and then we're going to delete that. Then we're going to copy that from one to the pause of the semicolon minus one. Then we're going to delete that. Then we're going to copy that one from one to the pause of the semicolon minus one, and then we'll be left with that, which will be the unit price. So that's its name. Copy from its line. Remember, S line has been read from the text file. From 1 to the pause of the semicolon in S line minus 1. Close the brackets properly and then we delete. And we go and copy this. Because it's the same parameters except if we don't do the pause of S line minus 1. Oops, comma, 1, comma. And then we're going to say S. So the S name, oh, S cust. S cust is the first one. And then S name will be the second one. And I'm going to copy and paste that code. That. Okay. And then the second, the third one will be the quantity. So I quantity. This time we must say string to int, and then we're going to copy, and then we delete, and then i price will be equal to whatever s line is, but string to int. Let's be what's left after we deleted, copied, and deleted all the items from that string. So we one copy delete, two copy delete, three copy delete, and then we're left with our price. That last digit there, that number there. Okay, now cost to calculate the cost to the item for the quantity sold. Unit price multiplied by quantity sold. So now we're going to multiply I quantity by I price. And we are going to do that with a variable. Um, so it'll be I total, I suppose. We'll say I total equals I price times by I quantity, and then we've got to get a grand total that we're going to sum. We're going to sum up all the totals, so I'm going to call it I grand. And I make I grand equal to naught over here before the loop, before we go through the text file. And here we're going to go and add up all the totals. Oh, it's R grand plus R total. That's how you do a running total. R total. So we've got our running total. We've got our quantity, our price, and we put that into a variable, multiplying and putting into a variable, then we get our grand total, which will be a variable that we initialize to naught over here, and we add up the totals there. So now what? We're going to use it later. Display the name of the customer and the cost to that customer in the return. So we're not finished. If we have some match, we must also display the name of the customer and that and the cost for that customer. So the customer is that um, like Paul Gonzalez, you know, and then we're going to multiply the 2 times 125, so that'll be 250. So 
So Paul Gonzalez, and then 250 must be displayed in where? Inside already display. Okay, now we'll use hashes. So I'll say already dis hash lines, I mean, display dot lines dot add. Oops. Add out oh my word and then open brackets. Name of the person is S Cust. That one of these we copied first. Plus hash nine plus grand total. Well, we can we're not going to do a float to string because it's an it's a rand value. You know we'll just put an R there and plus int. To string, not the grand total, the I total. Okay, so I'm just putting R there because there's no decimal points here at all. Okay, now next one. Now you must write code to test, test if a text file exists which is named with the item name extract from the combo box. Hmm. item name extracted from the combo box oh so the item name extracted from the combo box is s item there it is so we have to test to see if that text file exists now is it inside this loop no this is the end of the while loop end of while loop through the text file are we going to be doing this over here or are we going to do it before the end of the while loop it's going to be at the end of the while, while loop. Let's test if the item man extract from the combo box if it does exist. And if it doesn't exist, if it does exist, we're going to prepare to have lines added to it. If it doesn't exist, we're going to prepare to create a new text file with that name of that item. Let's then write, then write code to add a line of text file using the following format. So, right, if not file exists s item remember where does s item come from the combo box right at the top there s item plus dot txt then begin and end else begin and end well we're a sign file now we must actually use a, a different text file variable. If you want to use the same text file variable used before, if you want to use my file over here, then you must close file after reading from it. If you don't use the same text file variable, you don't have to put the close file in. So I'm using going to use the same text file variable, so I'll close it over there, see, after reading from the loop, after the loop. So I'll assign file my file to that text file name. You have to use the assign file statement for either if the text file exists or whether it doesn't exist. And if it doesn't exist, we're going to rewrite a statement which will create it, create an empty. If it doesn't exist, I mean if it does exist, we will append, we'll put it in append mode. So that's an important thing to do there. Okay, can you see the else begin? So if not exists, we'll rewrite it, else we'll append it. But you have to put a sign file statement first. Right, then what are we doing? Then you must write code to add a line to the text file in the following format, today's date and the total costs. So that grand total is now going to be used. Write ln date to string open brackets date, that's today's date, plus, you can use a hash line, plus then the grand total. Where's that grand? R grand. There it is. Into string. Remember everything you write to a text file has to be in a string format. So R grand. Oh, I haven't done it properly because I've got to write the word my file, comma. 
how do I know which text file I'm writing to? But I use my file, comma, and then the string. There's the string that you're going to add. And then you have to use close file. You'll lose a market and use close file here. My file. Right, so we can test it to see what happens when we run it. And take note this happens outside this while loop of going through the text file. Because they're choosing an item from the combo box. Let's have a look how it works. Oops. Yeah, would have errors there. Uh, brackets required. Um, too many brackets. Maybe. Yes. Too many brackets, I think. No. Let's run it now. <sighs> okay, you're supposed to have a bracket. I hate brackets. Oh, because we string to int, yeah. Mm, bet you another bracket. R price, a string to int, S line. Oh, where's my R price? Is it R price? It is R unit. Oh my word, I've used R price all the time and it's actually R unit. Let me just highlight everything and go like this. Whatever is our price, I'll just go and type our unit. And there it is. Fixed. Do you want to see how I did that? You highlight the whole range of where you want to change a variable, click the little pen, two yellow pens there, and then you can go and type. You can change variable names now, and then they'll change everywhere in the code that you've selected. And I still have errors, so let's have a look. Already displayed at lines dot add. For some reason my Delphi compiler is not working hundred percent. I might have to reinstall it. Okay, so let's say we're gonna choose desk and I'm gonna click analyze sales and then I'm going to look at the answer. 256 yeah and then we go look in our text files for the text file there's desk and there it is 1700 this is the amount of money and I was supposed to put a RAND symbol in front there but I didn't oh it's supposed to be hash and a RAND I have to follow that oh yeah you're not supposed to just do what we want in the format that they say a hashtag and then the total cost yeah you can't just do your own thing it's got to be a hashtag and then the total cost with um and then the ransom will maybe yeah. there we go all right now try this without looking that is that program. We finished that paper now.